All right, we're on the sneakers app. It's almost 10 o'clock. We're gonna get in it. All right, gotta be quick with it. Let's go. Chicken and W's. Chicken and W's. Go, go, go. Mm, boom, got it. All right, waiting in line, waiting in line, waiting in line. Oh man, sold out. Oh, again? Well, how much are they going for on GOAT right now? $500? Not me! She! Alright, got my tasks running. Got my proxies. Time to cook. We're gonna cook it up. Another one! Another one! 50 pairs, y'all! 50 pairs! 50 pairs! Mommy, Daddy, I just spent like, you know, I just bought 50 pairs. Maybe like, I spent like $12,000 on your credit card. Is that okay? I'm sorry, I'll pay you right back. Yo, what's up, man? You need slots? I'm running my bot. I can get you these pairs. Easy. Maybe we can do a four for one. So I'll run one, one credit card for four sites. So one slot is a four for one. Four. Yeah, uh, give me your credit card. Yeah, thank you. Okay, th thank you. Thank you so much. All right, is that all your information? Can I have your address and name and number, please? Yep, do you have any more credit cards? Okay. Oh, yeah? Can I have more credit cards? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Any more credit cards out there? Just uh, give all your information to me. Don't worry. All your information will go into this handy-dandy, super-duper bot. And by Saturday, we'll be cooking. Yo, what's good? You here for pre-order? Yes, I am. What size you need? I get a size okay. eight. Size, size eight and a half. There you go, right there, baby. Size eight and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna need about four hundred dollars, please. Four hundred dollars? Well, you know, it's you're getting the shoe one week ahead of time, or I might give it to you, uh, like the day of. Okay, so here, take it. There's your pre-order. Four hundred dollars? Must be so damn much. Yo, what size? What size you need? Size nine, please. Right. Size. Okay, size nine. All right, I got a size nine. These for the smoke rings. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Check it out. Size nine. All right. How much? Three fifty, please. Three fifty. Bro, I'm giving it to you. No hassle, no charge. I gotta go get the shoes for you. This is for you guys, okay? That's what a pre-order is. All right. Yeah. Take it. Give me the money. There you go. Oh, Thank shit. you. Oh, what's going on with your YouTubes? Hope you guys enjoyed that little skit I did. But anyways, I want to do this video for you guys. A lot of people have been asking me and DMing me about a couple things here. Of course, I want to explain some things and school you guys real quick about certain ways to cop shoes, right? There's certain many ways to get shoes and, you know, from here and there. Uh, but, you know, from uh, if you want to be a man user to a bot user to if you want to go to the add a cart route or if you want to do the pre-order route. Whatever ways that would best suit to your benefits, you know, there's no wrong way to do it. But honestly, you just guys got to figure things out and just kind of put things in perspective as in like, you know, does a price make sense or will these go down or will it go up? You just never know, you know, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. You kind of have to be on your game and you have to pay attention, okay? So for instance, uh, sometimes if you're lucky, if you guys were able to get, you know, uh, some shoes and they go up, that's a W for everybody. But, you know, if you get the shoe and they go down, then you get into little panic mode. And that's what I call little Timmy's. But anyways, let's get into these mini ways to cop shoes, of course. Okay, and I, they're all in different categories. And toy bot users, right? That's the majority of us here. We're all, you know, the normal people, bot or manual users. Of course, uh, you know, you, you try on your phone, you try manually, there's no special in and outs about it. It's pretty, you know, it's it's everyone out there. It's the normal people out there. Of course, the majority of us, we're all going to take L's, especially on hard and limited shoes, you know. It's it's not really easy unless you get some luck or you're really good at it or fast or stuff like that. Just, I see a lot of people that do hit that usually always hit and I'm always like, how the heck do you do that? But hey. Some people just get lucky or maybe they just cap it. It's most likely capping. You use just a hit, honestly, it's by either via raffles, you know, or like the foot sites or do, you know, in-store, you know, footwork. But of course, when, since we're in the middle of this pandemic and all these stores are closed, it's kind of hard for us manual users to hit all the time. But 
hey, if you can, good luck. If not, then there's other ways to get things. Users, I know I made a video about this and bots, if they ruin the market and stuff like that, you know, I just made a video. It's a little topic I like to make. But anyways, a bot users, if you guys didn't know what a bot, a botter is, is they have like a little system or a bot for the computer to where they're able to hit multiple pairs of shoes on releases like a little it's like you know like a little terminator inside no i'm just kidding it's a program for them to get through and bypass a lot of things it's kind of like a cheat code if you want to if you ask me but hey they pay for it these bots are not that cheap you know they're very expensive and you have to be really computer savvy and pretty smart okay you can't just pick up a bot and just be like yo now you're gonna cook of course not you know there's a lot more that goes into it and i did that video before so if you guys want to watch that i explained a lot more in detail about bot bot you know i don't have that much time and effort and dedication to just kind of get you know get into bots they're not the most um should i say most loved people out you know type of people out there especially when it comes to releases and everybody start taking l's of course and I, I i get it man you know i would i would hate them too but you know i'm not against bots do i support bots you know it all depends but I'm definitely not against it. I get it, you know? Hey, I get it. it, it kill, if whatever whatever it takes for you to get the shoe, that's how it's gotta be, man. And hey, if you don't adapt, you're gonna keep on taking L's. Now, the add to cart users, I do with my guy, sold a cart, add to cart. This is the way I like to do things, you know, especially for the everyday people out there that actually work. I work a lot and I have to work at my, uh, you know, my job on release days a lot of times. That's usually on the weekends. So I don't have time to be on my computer all day and just kind of like try to get, you know, these shoes and, and spend all day on that. Because sometimes with Yeezys and stuff like that, man, you can be online for like six freaking hours and yeah, and still take L's. I, I just can't do that. So I like to go to add a cart service and our add a cart service is basically someone that has a crazy bot or a super bot or something like that. Uh, of course, you give him your information and all that, and then he's try to hit you a pair or so, and he charge you for the service on top, whatever the cost for the shoe, okay? Because a lot of times people hit me up, and be like, yo, his service is only $75. That's how much the shoe costs? No. Shoe plus his service, okay? That's how much it is. It goes for you if, say, you're in vacation, you're going out of town, you're working, or you're just not good at getting stuff. This is one way to get things. But sometimes, yes, the price can be pretty kind of expensive. So you kind of have to kind of figure out which way you want to go with this. Because if they're charging, the car server was charging like $100 for Zions or something like that, you know. You got to put in perspective. His service is $100 plus a shoe which costs $230 to $240, something like that, right? You're going to get charged. Your card will get charged by whatever site he uh, the service hits for you. So let's say it's you know uh, Yeezy Supply or something like that. So it'll be like 240 plus his service, which was say, let's say it's just 100. dollars I'm not saying that's what it was, but let's just say it was 100. dollars Now that is gonna cost you 350 to get to you. Now we live in a society to where like we want that instant gratification. Not a lot of people are patient out there. That's what that service is for you. Looking down the road, once people start to get pairs, then these things drop to like you know 270 or something like that or 290 then you're kind of like well dang i just spent 60 dollars over it you know what i mean so i'm not saying that's bad or anything like that but at least you get that instant gratification the day of release and then you know you're gonna get a pair you don't have to go through all that but hey i'm I, that's all i'm saying just kind of put things in perspective i'm not crapping on any service out there so there's a lot of good service pre orders pre-orders is usually someone that can um let's say they either can get pairs early or they know places they can get pairs of the day of so on and so forth if they have like a plug or something like that usually you know like uh one of the homies got them or or they can get hold them some pairs something like that or if they just are able to get pairs you know that's usually what a pre-order is so you go through a person or a service you pay for the service whatever the shoe costs basically let's say again zions boom boom they uh said the week before the release like hey charging whatever their price is you give them the money the day of the release or before, then they'll give you the shoe. That's a pre-order, you know, because you're pre-ordering before. You don't have to go through any of the hassles. You don't have to go through, you know, day of release, and you already know that automatically you should be able to get your W. If the shoe goes down, of course, what if you pre you pre-order a shoe and the shoe goes up? Hey, that's a W. You never know. There's sometimes the shoe goes up, and of course the the pre-order or the add a cart service they can't just be like, hey yo, these shoes went up, I need more money now. Like, it doesn't work that way. So it kind of works both hand in hand. 
in with every service there is. So you just kind of have to kind of, it's like it's like the market. It's kind of up and down. You have to guess and you have to kind of know the market, of course. You got to be kind of smart about it. You know, most of the time shoes do go down, but hey, if they go up, hey, that's a W. So explain some things, you know, of how things kind of work for you guys, whatever best is for you guys. Me personally, I'm a, usually I'm a manual user. I do use add a car service as well when my guy sold a cart. Shouts to him. He's the homie. Explaining and schooling you guys about how these things work, you know, copping manual users, botters, add a cart service, pre-orders, you know, so on and so forth. Me personally, if I do take L's and all, hey, I'm willing to spend on resale. And I, that's why I, that's what a lot of people do as well. Resellers, they buy from resellers. Wait till they go up. If you have the capital, go up, then sell it, you know? Hey, there's just so many freaking ways to do these things. I can't really explain it, but hey, if you guys know the game, you guys know how these things work, it could be best for everybody, okay? Anyway, guys, that's pretty much end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this video helped you guys out about everything out there. I uh, just don't want to sound like I'm dog on any type of way. I don't hate on anyone. I appreciate I appreciate everyone's hustle. Hey, I respect everybody's hustle out there. You know, it's not it's not easy out there. It is not easy, and especially with these shoes, man. Whew, it gets rough. It gets tough. But anyway, guys. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Chris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter and don't forget Snapchat. Hey, I'm also on TikTok before it gets banned. Anyway guys, I'm Chris. Peace.